And I had a lot of friends along the way that became system involved. Um, it started to get a little bit personal for me. However, whenever my brother turned, you know, about 11, 12 years old, he started to get into a lot of trouble at school. Um, and my job then became quickly between the age of 12 and him being 17 was to keep him out of the system. So I had to learn how to navigate the system. Um, I like being able to go into facilities and to reach out to youth and to let them know that there is someone that's advocating for them, regardless of whether or not they're locked up and they seem to think that nobody's hearing them, that nobody's expressing their concerns. And just to go into facilities and see a tenth of a smile on a youth's face or that glimpse of hope is fabulous and I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. My biggest challenges that I face in advocacy in general is basically trying to be able to connect and tie in the pieces of community involvement and research and fiscal analysis and everything that gets the wheel going. Um, it's kind of difficult, you know, there are these various component, components that are required to make reform successful and it's very difficult whenever those components don't match up for whatever reason. The kids inspire me and um, the people that love what they do inspire me. Other uh, advocates who get up in the morning thinking about that one kid sitting in a jail cell that they saw the week before. Um, knowing that I'm not the only one that loves what I do and wants to make a change. While it may be easy to get lost in the numbers and it may be easy to become frustrated at the situation and want to give up hope, do not, do not lose your passion in that fire that initially started you because without that, without being able to see the faces in spite of the numbers, you're not going to be able to be successful.